hi guys hope you're all doing well and uh, this will be the second video of the entire series that i will be creating for azure active directory SaaS applications and in my previous video i have discovered about the traditional methods that we were using and how azure ad can serve uh, identity as a service that can be used with applications removing all the admin tasks in terms of managing identities in this particular video i'm going to talk about how you can add an application in Azure Active Directory, what are the different types of applications available and what are the different methods that you can choose depending upon your requirement to add an application in Azure Active Directory. So let me quickly switch uh, to my tenant now. Okay, so the moment you will log in to portal.azure.com this and you will click on Azure Active Directory. This is the default uh, view that we all get and the three options that can be used to manage applications are enterprise application, app registration and application proxy. Let's start with enterprise application. So the moment you will click on enterprise application, all the current applications working in your tenant will get listed here. And you can apply filters to go ahead and check depending upon the application type. In order to add a new application, click on new application. And here you will see a list of all the gallery application. Now the gallery application is something which has been used. This term has been used very oftenly when it comes to going through any of the article that has been published to manage applications from Microsoft. So gallery application or the icons that you see here these are more over like a connector which have some sort of settings enabled by default so if you you, you already tried adding in gallery application but you have observed that the moment you will add gallery application couple of settings like single sign on user provisioning you will get different tabs depending upon the application application capability so that you can configure it. So now you think this from an app pro provider perspective that let's say you have an application which you want to get listed in Azure Active Directory so that all the different global admins provide, you know, belonging to different tenant, they can see and they can add it directly to their tenant. So what you need to do is you have to go through a process uh, wherein uh, there is a federation part which will be completed between you as an application provider and the Microsoft Azure team and then what will happen your application will start getting listed over here. I'll be sharing the article which you can follow in order to get your application listed in the gallery itself. So that's what the gallery application is that the part wherein the application needs Azure AD as a claim provider is already been done for you. All you need to do is you have to go ahead and complete the authorization part on the application side as well as on the Azure AD side so that the information, the tokens which Azure AD is providing to your application, your application should be able to consume it and proceed further with the application purpose or the functions that are associated with that particular application. So you can search for any of the application like Salesforce or DocuSign or in fact most of the applications you know which are commonly being used you can come here and search for that particular application and just by couple of clicks that application will be added in your tenant. The second option that you see here is application that you are developing. So the moment you will click on this application, you will see a redirect. This is basically a redirect which will take you back to the app registration option, which we see here. This one. So if I click on uh, the option which says okay take me to the app registration this is the same window which you will get if you will click on app registration directly so either clicking on app registration or selecting the option of an application that you are developing they both have same purpose 
The next option is on-premise application. So this is the option which is used when you have an application up and running on-prem and you want to use Azure AD or you want to secure that particular application. So what you can do is you can download a connector, an Azure AD application proxy connector, which will help you to have single sign-on for, for the application that you are hosting on-prem. Now, this is a topic which requires uh, uh, more attention. That means there are a lot of prerequisites and there are a couple of settings that needs to be configured. So I will be covering this in a separate video altogether. This video is just a brief overview about what all the options are available and what are the purpose of those options. The next option that you see here is a non-gallery application. Now, what does this mean? that let's say you have an application provider uh, which has uh, who has published an application in, in the cloud and for some reason that is not listed in azure ad gallery that means that particular application is not getting listed here but that application has the capabilities in terms of providing you a saml based sign on in terms of a uh, providing your feature like user provisioning so what you can do is you can choose this option and the options that uh, and most of the options in fact that are available by default whenever you add a gallery application will be available in this application as well so let's say i'm naming this application as cloud app so i have added an application that i can't find in gallery but there is a different app provider who has a complete infra and uh, who is hosting this application and that too he has valid endpoints for providing you all the features so the moment you will add a non-gallery applications these are the set of options that you will get by default and what you can do is you you can closely uh, you know uh, compare or you can closely monitor that these are the same set of options which will be available to you if you will add any application from gallery so i have added this go to meeting application from the gallery and see i'm getting the same option let me open a different tab uh, for this so that we can compare both the applications uh, the gallery application and a non-gallery application at the same time so whenever I'm saying uh, features I'm focusing on the two core features that are available and that should be available are SSO and user provisioning so these are the two features which should be available when, when you are adding a non gallery app so that the users that you are creating or the users that you are assigning to the application should get automatically provisioned to the application so this is the application uh, which i have added from gallery and this is the application which right now i have added from a non-gallery option so if you see the options getting listed here and here are almost same but there is one more option which is not getting listed in here and that is the application proxy now this case that i'm referring to you also implies that this application that you have added from gallery has already federation settings enabled and it's the azure ad itself which is providing you the single sign-on so that's the reason why you don't get the option of application proxy listed in the gallery application like go to meeting so these are the different options which are available on the portal with the help of which you can configure the application as per your requirement and one last option uh, which i wanted to con confirm is this one uh, which is application proxy so again the option which you see from here by clicking on new application and on-premise application it is giving you the same settings to download the connector and if you go to application proxy 
it will also give you the option to download the connector so the app the option which says application you are developing is more over related to the same option which we call app registration and the obligate and the option which says an on-prem application is related to the application proxy option now in my next video I'm going to cover what happens when you register an application so whenever we register an application they are basically an application object and a service principle object getting created and I will tell you how those two objects are related to each other and how they actually work or how the entire consent framework works from Azure AD perspective in the entire process of authentication if you guys have any suggestions feedback please feel free to reach me at learnconceptswork at gmail.com thank you so much guys thanks for your time bye bye